Hello viewers, welcome to another video. It's previous the tutor, the best online tutor um, for science, this chemistry, physics, as well as mathematics and English language. I'm available as well as biology, uh, GCE, G10, G11, G12 online classes. Very much affordable. I always recommend people to attend my online classes for extra revisions. They are really helpful. Now, we are going to look at the how we can find the empirical formula of course and how we can find the molecular formula of a compound a says calculate the empirical formula of an organic compound containing 92 percent so 92.3 percent carbon and 7.7 percent hydrogen by mass so how do we find the empirical formula now the empirical formula is just the simplest formula all right in its simplest word ratios we're talking of elements in that compound that are expressed in simple word in simple in simple ratios hmm? so now how do we uh how do we go about all right so this is how we we go about it so a we are going first to indicate the percentage by mass so let us first indicate by mass, percentage by mass. So we have carbon and we also want to have what? Hydrogen, right? Percentage by mass has been given 92. Let me do this. Let me write it here. Percentage by mass. So here's 92.3 and here it's 7.7. Anyway, we <clears throat> the next thing is we need to find to write the mass, all right, in 100 grams. Remember, this is mass, this is mass in percentages, which is just like out of 100, right? Now let's write now the same percentage but in terms of mass. This will be 92.3 grams. And this will be 7.7 .7 grams. So now, moles. Let's now look at the number of moles. Now, for the number of moles, remember how we find the number of moles? It's mass over molar mass, right? So we're going to set 92.23. The <coughs> molar mass of carbon is 12. Here we are going to have 7.7. .7. Molar mass of hydrogen just one on the predicted. So we are going we saw we 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 are getting 7.7 .7 here and 7.7 .7 here now then let's look at the ratio of moles once you divide these these are the, uh, the number of moles right you need to divide the smallest one into the bigger one all right together you divide the smallest one into the bigger one. but these are the same so divide by the same get one layer and you get one so divide seven by seven point five so seven point seven throughout if we had let's say five point two we could have divided the five point two throughout because it would have been the, the smallest so from here the ratio that you get here just tells you that carbon is one and hydrogen is one so we therefore we conclude and say the empirical formula empirical formula for this compound is just CH. It's just what? CH, that's all. Then they are saying, B says, if the molecular mass, which is the relative molecular mass of the compound is 78, what is the molecular formula of the compound? We have empirical formula and molecular formula. Now, how do we find molecular formula? Okay, so on the other hand, to find the molecular formula is that we have first to find the mister for this since they have given us the mister of the molecular compound sorry of the molecular formula of the compound let's now find the mister of the empirical formula of this compound so let us let, let me just change the color uh, which one should i use okay i'll use this one so let's just find the mister for the empirical formula so how do we find the mix for the molecular point get how many atoms of carbon are there one so one times four we get four 
plus how many atoms of hydrogen are here one mass number of hydrogen one so give us 13 right this is the mister for the empirical formula now we're just going to find the ratio all right just going to find what the, the ratio we call it n n is equal to uh mister of molecular compound molecular formula molecular formula we divide by mister of big formula and we've been given 78 and here we've been given what thing 13 so n is equal to 6 therefore we say molecular formula is equal to n multiplied by the empirical formula now our n is 6 our empirical formula is ch this gives us c6 h6 and we are done so you can follow us on youtube on tiktok facebook and subscribe to my youtube channel for online classes i'm very much affordable and available